Oof. Darwin, just considering the last week, you know, you're the 10th seed on Friday before the game start. Now you've secured the 7th seed uh, and advance into the postseason. Uh, what stands out to you about this specific game and the way that New Orleans is and what you had to do down the stretch to hold them off? Just the grit, um, the grit of our, our group. Uh, you know, had a little bit of a cushion. They started making, you know, what we thought they were going to do, they did, made their run, threw some heavy blows at us. They kept swinging. We kept fighting back, meet force with force. And so, uh, you know, man, blessings to Willie and his, his staff, his crew. You know, that's a hard, hard ball club to play, man. Their length, their athleticism, their skill, their ability to shoot the ball. Zion, you know, his nonstop relentlessness and attacking downhill. Um, that's a hell of a team we just got past. So, but it taught it it it, it, it real uh, revealed a lot about us and, and what we're made of and the way we have you know the, the way these two games went. You know, one was you know fairly big cushion throughout the game, and then the, tonight was hard fought as we anticipated. <coughs> and so. Um, I'm just proud of our guys, just doing the little things, taking charges, whether it's Brian or different people taking charges, coming up with big defensive rebounds, D'Lo getting back, sprinting back, coming up with a huge steal late, hitting a huge bucket uh, in front of their bench to go up four. Um, guys stepping up, making their free throws. Um, it's a lot, a lot. We had some point blank you know, shots that we missed that we normally make, but we didn't hang our heads. We just kept fighting. Darvin, Seemed like they were really focused on trying to take away what they could from the and you know, both those guys have an inefficient night. But you mentioned Elo five threes as the dagger three in the quarter. So what what does that say about you guys as a team and him individually? You know, Brian just said it uh, after the game. You know, what we saw in these two games is a microcosm of what we have to be in the playoffs. It's back to zero zero. You know, seeds are what they are, but everyone is zero and zero. So. Our, our supporting cast stepping up the way they did, you know, on a night where, you know, Brian and AD both were missing the mark in terms of field goals and, you know, some tough, tough misses, point blank range. But our others, all those guys, they stepped up, they buckled down, they made play after play after play, key moments. Um, Gabe and his his couple of threes he made early on was were huge. His defense, Torian, all of these guys, man, it's just. D'Lo, you mentioned A.R., Rui, like they, they really, everyone pitched in to help the team captains tonight and uh, it's a, a beautiful team win. Obviously, Brian, being the guy that he is, you guys are all comfortable with him having the ball in his hands and when he gets, you know, he's spending so much energy on defensively. You know, there was a stretch there where he didn't have it going in the fourth and then you saw A.R., Start to make some plays that kind of unstick you guys. And yeah. How important has the development of the playmakers been beyond LeBron? Guys? It's been great, man. It's been huge for us. You know, we know we have five capable guys in that starting lineup, and most times we finish the game with that lineup who all are high level playmakers, all score from all three levels. Uh, it's going to get out there, compete, do the little things. AD coming up with some huge offensive rebounds. Uh, off some of the misses and, and just the trust factor. You know, D'Lo can initiate and make a big play in a big moment. Same with AR, Brian, we've seen it 21 years now. Um, AD, Rui, you know, all those guys just playing stress free basketball, trying to figure out what's the best matchup, get into the right action, and, and make something happen, if not for themselves, mostly for someone else. Just, just, just his toughness, his grit, his ability to make shots, and like I said, that will come as his legs get stronger and stronger, stronger and stronger underneath him. Um, his shot making will increase as well, but just his, he has this quiet toughness about himself. Whatever you need him to do, he's going to do it. He's going to make sure he executes it and starts with defense with him. The defense, diving on the floor, everything. Like he's a, a hell of a competitor. Garvin, you guys, like, you, you guys seemingly discovered an identity.
resourcefulness of your team defensively to do enough? I mean, we show them that in, in different stretches, um, different games, we want to lock down. We have, uh, you know, we're more than capable of locking down. And we, you saw that in the second quarter. Um, I mean, they made some shots late for a long time. They had only scored 10 points. Uh, and then, you know, they, they got some opportunities late. But that said, you know, our, our guys know, you know, you got to, there's no way around it. You can't fake it, you, you know, in terms of you want to win big, you're going to have to defend. You're going to have to defend and rebound. Those, those two areas, uh, we, we continuously stressed the, that we need to be at an elite level, especially this time of year going into what we're about to face. Uh, our defense and our rebound has to be on point. We'll talk about Denver a lot in the next few days. But there was this, this notion out there perhaps that it would be better for you guys to, to drop this game to avoid them. Um, how excited is this group for this challenge against Denver? Um, that was a report of what? It wasn't a report. It was TV talking stuff. It was that maybe Saying what again? It would be better off if you guys lost this game. Insane si asylum sources say. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Nah. Uh, if you it wasn't sourced. It wasn't yeah, Okay. It was just chatter. Just you know, someone that just got out of the insane opinions. asylum. There was a okay. Instance. I got you. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> roll the <laughs> dice. They roll just the... released these people. Yeah. Uh, did, uh, I, I guess, like, the, the challenge of Denver. Uh, when you're on a team that, that has a season that doesn't end the way it, wanted the year prior. How excited do you think this group is to, to try to get that? Extremely. It's an opportunity. And like I said, man, it's back to zero and zero. Obviously, they've had a ton of success against our ball club, but there's always a new day. And, you know, my, my staff and I have already been putting the groundwork together for that game plan, and we'll get together tomorrow. Other guys, the team have a day off, but we'll start the work, the process of building out the game plan. And go up there and give it our best shot. That's all we can do. We feel comfortable, though. We like where we are. We like where the spirit of our group is. Um, everybody's chipping in, pitching in, excited about this challenge and this opportunity and respect to them. They'll have a little ball club. It's the reason why they're defending champs. Uh, but, you know, we, we like our chances. Just how much is Denver been in your guys' minds since last question? Not a lot, man. I mean, we, 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 we've had our health issues. We had issues of trying to make this push to secure a spot in the postseason. So we've been just taking care of us, taking care of things one day at a time and, you know, tackling everything that's immediately in front of us. Along those lines, what are your early thoughts on the matchup and kind of just how? I don't have any. I don't have it. We'll get to it tomorrow. Your thoughts on just the form of winning 12 out of the last 15, including these two, to go into the playoffs and that kind of form over the last several weeks? They're just playing basketball the right way. This guy, these guys are, are, are we're, we're really having a lot of fun. You know, it's been some challenging moments, no doubt. Um, some challenging circumstances at times, but the, you can see the group, the genuineness of the group and, and their joy that they get from playing with one another and the way we've been playing collectively uh, is at a high level. So again, we're, we're in a great space right now at the perfect time. How much, how much does just this I'm going to call it a series. You know, you guys are going to win these games in very different ways. You guys give you more confidence in what this group can accomplish and just move forward. Uh, you just got to be able to, whether it's it's your night and you're throwing in shots from everywhere or it's not your night and you're missing uh, point blank from point blank range and you just still buckle down defensively and do all the little things that help you get over the hump. Being a, you know, being able having diversified ways to win games, you know, is, is, is what you need to have in, in going into a postseason like this. Thank you. Hey, what can you just tell us about uh, what happened with Zion? Um, right now, we know his, his left leg uh, soreness, and he's going to get some imaging on it tomorrow, and we'll, we'll figure out more. Um, that's the report that I got back. I haven't see, talked to him or um, anything like that, but we'll see how we feel. We'll see what happens tomorrow when we get the results back. You know if it was a knee or foot? Uh, I, did, I, I couldn't tell. I, I don't know if it was a knee, foot. Um, so once tomorrow, I'm sure I'll have more of an update of, of what's going on with him. Uh, there's a ton of swings in that game. I mean, what are just your emotions coming down from it? Obviously, tough loss for us. Um, 
the guys battled. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely proud of that group, how they fought. They hung in there, and we got back in the game by just simply upping our physicality, keeping them out of our paint, and being scrappy. Um, we fell short and in, 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 and uh, that's the disappointing part. Uh, but you know, we got to fill this one tonight and regroup and get ready for another one. I mean, just a, a monster Zion game. How tough was it not to have him those those last three minutes after what he did? It was tough. It was tough to to see him go down. Um, you know, we're all praying and hoping that he's okay, but he was battling. He was going, and uh, the team was was right there with him. So it, it's tough. We'll see what happens, and we'll go from there. I really didn't use uh, B.I. much late down the stretch. What kind of went into that decision? Um, I just liked the group that was on the floor at the time. And um, B.I. is still getting back. He's still get, finding his rhythm. Uh, so I didn't want to – forced the issue, and I like the group that was going. They, they had some momentum going there. And did you see when the design injury happened? Was it when he made the basket over AD, or was it something that happened after? I think it was that. I think he drove to the basket and something happened um, as far as the injury. But I, 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 once again, I don't know exactly what it was um, and when he did it, but it looked like it was at that moment. And obviously for it to end like that was, was disappointing, but just what was really special about the way he performed tonight? Scoring 40, you know, in his first postseason appearance. He was fantastic. Um, he settled into the game. He just continued to attack. He found seams. He rebounded the ball. He played fast. And um, when he's attacking like that, he, he's he's a tough matchup for anybody. And, um, you know, we have him for a few more minutes. You know, maybe we have a chance to, to pull this thing out. Obviously, he had it going pretty much the whole night, but what do you think they did to make it difficult for basically everybody else to score? They're a good defense. Uh, they they pressure you. They funnel everything to Davis in the paint. LeBron is sagging off playing kind of free safety. So they do a good job, that tandem, of making you take tough shots. But once we got stops, once we, were, we upped our physicality, now the pressure was on them. We had them on our heels offensively, and we were getting out in transition and attacking. Willie, what's kind of your message to the team after a loss like that? The same that I said here. Um, it's a tough loss. We're all going to feel this tonight. Uh, but we're all proud of our group and how they fight. They battle to the end. And we made our adjustments. We responded in the right way. We just came up short. The biggest lead tonight was 18, uh, the group that was out there uh, with Jose. Can you speak to like, his game tonight and the way he was able to kind of change the game? I mean, you guys saw his impact on the floor. Jose is a fierce competitor. Every time he steps on the floor, practice, game, it doesn't matter. He's going to give me everything he got. He gives his teammates everything he has. And he's a gamer. He, he loves big time moments. At the end of the game there, um, they know you needed three, so they're trying to run you off the line. Uh, what's your general take on like that quick two, taking what you got versus knowing you needed three to get the three up? Well, we were down four, right? So down four with 14 seconds left. We're trying to extend the game, hoping that they miss a free throw. Uh, so we're going for a quick two, try to go for a steal, jump ball, foul, and kind of in that order. Uh, we couldn't get to a steal or a jump ball, so we fouled immediately, but they made their free throws. And you know we try to go for another quick two, more free throws. So you're trying to extend the game as long as you can to get, give yourself an opportunity. Hopefully they miss one, now you can get a three up. You guys kind of had a complete 180, and you were the one who dominated the Lakers in the paint, yet they almost shot twice as many free throws as you. Just yeah. talk about how you think about the physicality of the game was and how it was called. Without getting in trouble. <laughs> um, I don't feel like we've gotten a great whistle all season. That's just that's how I feel when I watch the games. We're one of the teams that dominate the paint night in and night out. We have a a physical dominant force in Zion, along with others. And um, it just seems like we're not getting those calls. All right, thanks. All right, thank you. Awesome. Just first of all, this game, what did it take to build the lead that you did and then just hold on against a pretty furious New Orleans player? Yeah, I mean, uh, I thought they come out 
you know, from the gate and was super aggressive, played with a lot of physicality, uh, the pace was fast, um, and it was, they were playing a good brand of basketball, and we kind of weathered that storm, uh, you know, in that first quarter, <clears throat> and the start of the second quarter off good. Uh, was up 10 and a half or whatever, and then, you know, grew that lead in the third, and then really, you know, I don't know. I think they really just play good basketball and come back into the lead. But, you know, at that point, you know, that they tied the game on to, you know, back and forth. And, you know, it was just um, a gutsy performance for us to come in here and, you know, hold off on that, that win. Zooming out a bit, you know, I, even though you were 10 games over 500, you guys were the 10 seed on Friday. And so to now have gone through this, uh, this whole season that you have to secure a playoff berth um, as the seventh seed, where, where does that have you guys mentally? Uh, I mean, throughout the you know regular season, you always want to you know have a better record, be a better seed, higher seed. Um, but you know, the last couple of months we've been really happy with you know the way we've been playing. Um, you know, we found some stuff you know offensively uh, that's helped us a lot. And um, but as as a team, you know, moving forward, we're you know super excited where we are. You know, at, as a you know basketball unit. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, very familiar with them, uh, you know, defending champs, uh, rightfully so. And, uh, you know, they're a hell of a ball club and we'll have to, you know, go put our best foot forward, play as hard as we can and execute, you know, at a super high level because that's that's what they do, uh, especially in the fourth quarter. They execute, you know, every single possession uh, like it's, you know, the last possession of a game. And that's what's, you know, beautiful about, you know, how they play the game. Um, we just got to go match that and, you know, compete. Um, yeah, that's really it. You know, super excited to go battle. Super important. Um, you know, one thing about us, you know, as a, a group, uh, we know how good he is. And like you said, that first quarter, second quarter, whatever, uh, especially the first quarter, he, you know, single handedly kept us in that game. Uh, it could have been, you know, way worse than what it was, you know, just five, six, seven. They got up to eight, I think, maybe 10. But if it went for him, it could have been 15, 18, 20. Um, you know, super talented offensively. Um, you know, I think he's cherished the moment more this year uh, in situations, you know, you see like Milwaukee, uh, you know, at home when he hit the, you know, floater to go up, whatever it was, one or two. And then, you know, in Milwaukee, uh, you know, late free throws, late buckets. But, yeah, I was, I was super surprised that, you know, he left strong side corner. Uh, I thought he was going to, you know, fake and fade basically uh, and I went to go to a Euro and realized he wasn't going back and I mean it's a no-brainer especially the way D'Lo shoots the ball so super happy for him um, yeah happy for our ball club Uh, I think it's I mean, very important for him. Um, you know, miss you know so much time with in injury, uh, and you you battle to come back, which he's done. And I don't think there's a tougher you know situation to come back to, and you know especially time left in the year. You know that amount of games he had before. Uh, you know this point. Uh, so it's been, you know, super tough, I would assume, for him to, you know, really, you know, catch a rhythm, catch a flow. But every possession he's out there competing on defense, uh, you know, one of the best plays of the game is, you know, when he got the deflection, dove on the floor, got the steal. 
uh, and then pitched it back to TUP. Just that, you know, heart that he plays with, um, you know, we know how good he can shoot the ball regardless of, you know, how he shot it uh, coming back. So we encourage him to do that and just to be himself. And, you know, once he catches a rhythm, he's going to bring a whole nother dynamic to our team that, you know, we really like. Yeah, I mean, any possession that you, you know, have where you you got Braun with the ball, AD with the ball, it's a, you know, probably a good thing's going to happen. Uh, but like you said, um, I don't want to say Braun struggled tonight, but you know, he looked at me in the, the locker room and was like, I don't know the last time I've shot six for twenty, um, and basically praised the team for you know pulling us through this win but for him to have you know the confidence in me to not go score or whatever just to make the right play you know means a lot to me and it means a lot to the ball club because you know you can just tell by that mentality that he has that he really just wants to win and you know that's the beautiful thing about it he doesn't care about you know being that guy every single possession you know he is that guy so it doesn't you know it's not really you don't have to he doesn't have to do it every single time when, you know, it might not work a couple of possessions. We can go away from it, but obviously always going to get back to it. Appreciate you. Jack, Gabe, we were just talking to AD kind of about your defense and you know, what he's noticed, but just wonder as you were out and rehabbing, you, know, you were watching the games, like where did you envision that you'd be able to come in and help this team specifically and how have you focused on doing that since you returned? Um, I mean, like I mentioned before, it's just all the little things, uh, whether it's a loose ball or um, getting back on defense, you know, just trying to fill in the gaps. You know, it's a very talented group. Um, I never felt like I needed to come back and have 30 or something like that. You know, it's, that's not really what this team needs. And um, there might be a night where I hit shots and that's what the case may be. But um, there's a number of ways to impact one. And, and I'm trying to find every which one there is. Yeah, I mean, for me, it was it was CJ. Like, whenever I was in and he was in, I, I definitely wanted to guard him, talented score. Um, and when I wasn't on him, it was just how can I communicate to others and, and try to make the game as difficult for the opponent as I can. You mentioned, I think, one switch where you were on Zion. There were a couple switches with Ingram. Mm -hmm. uh, with either taller or bigger guys, what, what's the key in that kind of a matchup? Uh, I mean, every, every guy is different. You know, this league's so talented. It's a very different guard in terms of guarding Zion versus guarding uh, B.I., but... Um, I just compete. I'm just going to compete. I'm not going to back down from a challenge. And um, I know I got support behind me, and my guys are there ready to pull a trigger and make a play. So um, they give me a lot of confidence out there. Just because it's just your seventh game back since coming back from Word? Damn. OK. It's a good number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play the pass line, man. <laughs> where's, where your, where's your legs, your comfort level at after being out for such a long period of time? Just only seven games, is that's a good number, but it's okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, each each game I feel better naturally. You know, I think there's no um, there's no rep, like replacing reps, and I think that's something I've missed most of this year. Whether it's uh, reps in practice or just getting shots up or um, you know a rhythm type thing, but uh, each game I feel better naturally and. And always better when you get a win. Kid, uh, you know what the in season, the I'm sorry, the playing tournament can do for a team as it kind of pushes it in to the, the postseason. Mm -hmm. uh, to have a game where so many different guys outside of kind of like the main stars right. had big moments, what, what does that do for you guys as you enter the, the, the teeth of the postseason? I um, mean, it's huge. You get tested in a number of ways throughout the season. And I think we've had. Our, our others, so to speak, step up in a number of times, a number of ways this year. But um, at a time like this and a game that really matters for us as we move forward towards this postseason, I think it was huge. I think it was huge for us to show that we could, you know, 
handle the adversity and um, other people can step up and, and we can you know get a good win as a team. Uh, looking forward to it. Anything matchup specific or? Game one Saturday, right? Yep, game one Saturday. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Appreciate you. You were uh, you know, a big part of you all getting back into that one late in the third. Just what do you think allowed you guys, I guess, to, to get a little traction there and, and make it a game in the fourth? Getting stops, I think that's really what it was. Um, if you don't get stops, it's hard to really come back into a game. And uh, third quarter, we started getting stops, started hitting shots, started playing a lot faster. And um, I think that's what turned it around for us during that game. Yeah, and how tough was it to just see Z not be able to play the last three minutes after you know having the incredible game that he had? You know, it's tough, obviously. And uh, especially with all the work he's put in this season, this is a career high in games he's played his entire career. And, um, you know, you wish the best for him. And uh, definitely sucks. Hey, Trey, Willie's always talking about like turning the page after tough losses and facing adversity and all that. But what's kind of the mindset going into a, what's a do with that game on Friday? Win. That's it. That's all it is. Is win. Nothing else really to say about it. Just win the game. Did you, did you see what happened on the diamond throw? Um, not necessarily. I mean, I saw him go for the layup, and then also I just saw him like jog back a little bit, like hobble a little bit. Other than that, I didn't see anything else. Kind of similar to what a lot of those lineups looked like last year when you were at the top of the West, you know, in December making those runs. Just, do you feel like you were recapturing some of the the pace and, and you know like the physicality y'all played with? As you did last yeah, year? I think Jose came in and changed the pace as well as Z. I mean, we were able to rebound and just get out and run in transition. That's one of our best offenses when we have guys running in transition. Me and her, we sprint the lane, the lanes and three point lines, you know, pretty pretty well. And then Jose and Z try to find us. And so that's just really all it is. Just one thing Larry mentioned in his post-game interview is that you guys play much better when the ball moves a lot. It doesn't really stick. You, you, know, you don't play well when, when it's slow, slow down basketball. Um, just what do, you, what do you make of, of, of that? And, and how do you get the team to continue to play with that pace over you know, 48 minutes? Yeah, I mean, just in general with basketball, like more than more than likely you're going to be able to break down a defense if you're able to move the ball. And so for us, especially with the makeup of our team, when we're moving the ball, it makes it a lot easier and a lot more open space for Z because, I mean, a lot of times he has a ball in his hand. And, you know, if you got to put guys around him that can space the floor. So, you know, if we're stagnant, they're able to load up on us and really any NBA team can guard stagnant offense. And Trey, last week, you guys went to Sacramento and Golden State and got two wins on a back-to-back -back night. Can you draw anything from that to Friday's game? Because you're going to face either one of those two teams. Uh, a little bit. You can definitely look at the film, but it's a do-or-die game. They're definitely going to, whoever we play, they're going to come in with the mentality that is it could be their last game of the season, so they're going to play as hard as they can. So obviously you can look at the film, but you just got to be prepared to, for a dogfight. Can you, in general, just talk about Zion's performance and just – kind of how he was taken over in the fourth quarter and just really seemed unstoppable there? Yeah, no, nah, he just really took on the personal challenge, you know, rebounding the ball, you know, playing defense, being in lanes, and then scoring the ball at a high level. Um, you know, 40 points, 10 rebounds in whatever span of time he played in, which wasn't a full game. That's pretty impressive. So, obviously wanted him to finish the game, but we understand the circumstances of what happened. Trey, what did the Lakers do to take your – your shooters, yourself, CJ, the rest of the guys out until you guys found something in the fourth quarter. But what happened until that, before that point? I mean, no, honestly, I think we just missed a lot of shots. Like, I was short on really every single miss that I had. CJ was also short. It just, just happens. I don't think it was too much of what they were doing. I think it was more so on us and our offense and, you know, just trying to generate good looks. That's it. Appreciate it. Yeah, what do you think uh, allowed you guys to get some traction there late in the third quarter and make that a game in the fourth quarter? You know, our guys coming off the bench were great. They played with energy. They got out and ran in transition. Um, they got some easy baskets, some threes. Obviously, Z was great um, getting downhill, putting pressure on the rim, finishing, creating crowds. And um, I think a lot of that was the difference, stops, not fouling. Um, those types of things allowed for the game to change. It was like watching Zion, you know, Sunday, tough 
tough day for mm-hmm. him, you know, come back and, and do what he did today for Italy. Yeah, that's what great players do. Good mental toughness, you know, coming back, figuring out how you could be more impactful, figuring out how you could be more efficient, and got to his spots. I um, mean, he did whatever he wanted tonight. Finished well around the basket, got to the free throw line, hit a jumper or two. Um, it was it was a really good game for him, um, you know, from start to start to finish. And unfortunately, he ended up having to leave the game early. Yeah, I mean, what you what did you see around that three minute mark when when he was I didn't see, I didn't really see. I seen him finish and then kind of come off the court and. Um, they just told me to go in for him. I didn't. I didn't know the extent of, you know, what what may have happened. I mean, just how tough is it to see that? You know, just you know how much that's been a narrative around him and being able to stay healthy. You know, for yeah. I mean, this is an unfortunate situation. He's he's having a great great game. You know, we're getting down the stretch of a a highly um, a highly important you know game where he's dominating and you know leaving his imprint uh, in all phases and you know. Ends up having to leave the game early, but you know it's just an uh, unfortunate situation, and you know uh, we, I don't know what happened or the extent of it, but you know hopefully he's back soon. And for you personally, was it just a matter of just shots that you usually make not going in tonight? Or? Yeah, I mean I think you credit them; they played a good, uh, had a good defensive game plan. You know, wasn't a lot of I mean I had like three, three good looks that I think I should have made uh, that I just left short, but they did a good job of being up in coverages, you know, showing crowds. I got to be better. I got to be more efficient. And if I played a better game tonight, we end up winning. But we still had a chance, in spite of my performance, to win the game, and we just didn't. Just, just what type of challenge do you think is for Bi right now, trying to get back in the flow after being out for a while, and just trying to get back, you know, in games like this? Yeah, I mean it's tough. You're coming off an injury, um, right into playoff atmosphere against a, a team who has championship aspirations in the Lakers. Um, it's a tough environment. It's a tough situation. But he's mentally tough. And, uh, he'll figure it out and continue to battle and put himself in position to be successful, and that's what he's done throughout his career. And you know, for us as a team, we got to continue to adjust and, and and figure out, you know, how to be more effective, especially um, to start games. Does it does it help having two days off to, to help this, to, to kind of get ready for the I think the rest is important for us. You know, we've been playing a lot of minutes in the last month. We've been playing a lot of games, and you know, games that are, you know impactful in terms of standings, you know, the last month or so. So the the sense of urgency is there, the physicality is there, the pace, you know, all those things. So it's nice to be able to get some rest. CJ, how helpful is it the fact that you went to Sacramento, you went to Golden State, and you beat them on their home court, and that was on a back-to-back because you can face one of those teams? I mean, it, I don't really think it matters. It's nice to get those wins. It would have been nice to get in the playoffs and not have to worry about it. But um, you just got to turn the page now. It's going to be a new game, whoever we're playing. It'll be a new opportunity in front of us. And um, that'll, that'll be uh, the win and get in, the win and get in for us. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys have been in these winner go home playing games before. What's the mm-hmm. mentality you got to be going into that game on Friday? I think just sense of urgency, um, game plan, discipline, and really just focusing on ourselves. And every team is good that's left. Every team has the chance to, to do special things once they get into the playoffs. And about and, and for us, it's just about executing, defending at a high level, um, making sure that we you know, push tempo, and really just take advantage of all of our talents. I think that's what it comes down to. You know, The stakes are the stakes. It is what it is. But uh, for us, I think we just got to control what we can control, which is preparation and, and doing what we've done our whole lives to get to this point. Yeah, I mean, you always want to be out there. Like, you know, this is this is what I've been doing since I was a kid. You know what I mean? So you always want to be out there. But you know, they were doing great. They were rolling. They were uh, able to get us back into the game. And as a professional, you just have to play your role and be ready, whatever that means. And um, unfortunately, Z ends up going out, and you know, I had to go back in and try to try our best to try to close the game out, and we came up short. But um, I think for us, it's just about doing whatever it takes to win, whatever that means. Yeah, the first one was a quick two for sure. It was enough time to get a quick two. The second one, I, I was trying to get a three off, but AD was beyond the level. I, I mean, he probably would have blocked it, so I couldn't. I couldn't get the shot off. Not a lot of space, you know, around half court, sideline, defender. So I passed it there. He laid it up, and you know, in those situations, you want to score as fast as possible. I hope they miss a free throw, and they didn't miss any free throws down the stretch. So, um, tough, tough way to go out. Thank you. Thank you.